So iOS 14 is an amazing update with some amazing new features. But in this video, I'm going to show you some settings that you need to change right now to have a better experience in iOS 14. So the very first feature we are taking a look at today has everything to do with Siri. So go in accessibility, scroll down to Siri, and now you can select when Siri answers and when it doesn't. So basically you can select it to only answer when you say, hey Siri. So Siri will just give you replies and answers to your search, but won't say anything. So it's basically silent at that point. And it's really helpful in situations where you want to use Siri, but you don't want it to make any noise like in class or at office. You can just enable this feature and have silent Siri. Now this next feature, all the new iPhones have this, but the older ones didn't. So now you can change the video format right inside the camera app without going back in the settings. Just tap on the right corner and you can switch between the resolutions right here. It's way simpler this way. And this next feature is again really good. So you can just now have mirrored selfies and all the selfies will be in the correct way now because they won't be mirrored like they usually are. So yeah, enable this feature, it's pretty amazing. Now this next feature, I'm pretty sure all of you know about this already. We have a new call UI that is compact and smaller in size. But if you want to go back to the traditional call UI that took the entire screen, you can do so by going in the phone settings, then clicking on incoming calls, then selecting full screen. So now all your calls will come in the full screen manner. So next up, we have a setting that works with the app library. So you know how you can just hide an entire page and keep your home screen clean at all times? Well, when you install a new application from the app store, it just messes up the home screen again and it's just not clean anymore. So you can disable that by going inside of settings, then clicking on home screen, then selecting app library only. So whenever you install a new application from now, it's only gonna show in the app library and not on the home screen, keeping your home screen as clean as it is. So I'm pretty sure you know that messages now have inline replies and mentions in group chats, but if you go inside of settings, you go to messages, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you have a new setting that says notify me. So basically, whenever someone mentions your name in a group chat or they just tag you, you will be notified even if do not disturb is turned on or if you're not paying attention to the group chat, you will know if this feature is turned on. So moving on, this next feature or setting is in the music app. So let's say you're listening to an album or a playlist and when the music ends, it basically stops. But if you click on this new autoplay icon that looks like infinity, the music is just gonna keep on playing. So it's gonna randomly select songs, even if they're not in your library or in a playlist, it's gonna play on songs and keep them playing on as long as you want it to. So it's a fun way to discover new music and have it played for as long as you want to. So this next setting is deep inside the accessibility section. So go to touch, scroll to the bottom, click on back tap, and now you can assign actions that will happen and work when you tap the back of your phone. So you can either have it at double tap or triple tap, and you can assign from all of these actions. So you can even use Siri shortcuts and it's pretty nifty, though you should know that it only works best when you don't have a case on. So moving on, you can now set default apps in iOS 14. So basically you can set a default browser or a default mail client. I actually made a video on this, which I will link down below, but it's a nifty feature. So whenever you open a link or something like that, it's gonna open in Chrome instead of Safari, as long as you have Chrome selected as your default app. So moving on, we have sound recognition. So go in accessibility, go to sound recognition. You have all of these sounds to choose from, and you can even select all of them or either just one of them. And let's say you have doorbell turned on. So whenever the phone hears or recognizes a doorbell, you will get a notification on your phone that a doorbell has been recognized. So it's a pretty nifty feature and it can be helpful in some situations. So moving on, we have sleep schedule, and I'm pretty sure you have seen this feature by now. So click on change, click on turn on, and now you can make your very own schedule. You can set how many hours you want to sleep, what time you want to sleep at, all of that stuff. But the best part about this thing is when it's enabled, your access to the phone will be limited and you will only be able to access certain applications, which is pretty cool. And you can even sync this up with the health app. So if you have an Apple Watch, all your data will be synced right here. So it's pretty amazing. So last but not the least, we have location services settings. So go to privacy, go to location services, scroll down and click on any of these apps and you have a new setting that says precise location. So if you have this turned off, the app will never know your exact location. It'll have a vague idea of where you live, but not your exact location, and it's pretty neat. And there's a similar feature inside the Wi-Fi settings. So go in Wi-Fi, select your network, click on this little eye, and enable private address. And this won't be your real address, so you'll be less prone to attacking and cracking. So you can simply access your Wi-Fi while hiding your Wi-Fi address and safely browse 
around the net and your Wi-Fi. So it's pretty neat. And you can actually manage all your tracking report right inside of Safari. So that is a feature you should also check out. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. I have actually done a ton of coverage on iOS 14. I have made a video on custom widgets, custom icons, best widgets, better battery life, all of that stuff. So do check that out. All of that will be linked down in the description. And also comment your favorite setting from this video in the comments and let me know which one you like the most. Until then, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.